Um, hello everyone, here Enrique from Atos, and I'm going to present the demo called uh, Model Drift Monitoring Closed Loop that uh, uh, belongs to the scope of the uh, lifecycle monitoring of uh, AIML models. Okay. So in this first slide, uh, we can see uh, this diagram of the of the demo in which we have basically uh, leveraged some of the components of the AIATH architecture, some of them uh, of the CCP and some of them uh, some of them from the NSAP. Um, so this uh, this closed loop is basically intended to to detect cases of um, uh, of drift of a machine learning model that is being served within a, an AIF. So for the for the purpose of this uh, of this demo, we have built our own uh, AIF that we have called the the model monitoring AIF <coughs> that uh, uh, contains uh, not only the machine learning model but also uh, another components uh, intended to to close the the loop, as for example the the detector to detect cases of drift, the sidecar, and the and the inference system. So after the the AIF uh, detects a case of of drift, uh, the system is already able is um, is able to to trigger uh, the training training AIFs in order to um, to to retrain the model and the detector and upload a new version at the ML flow registry. So finally, the with the sidecar, uh, the system is able to to detect automatically. Uh, new versions of the of the model of the model and the detector, and to deploy them automatically. So uh, with this, we achieve um, a continuous training based on the on drift detection. Okay. So <clears throat> before uh, jumping to the to the video, we're going to to see in this slide some of of context. Uh, so first of all, we have to make some assumptions. Uh, the first one is that we will have uh, original and corrupted data uh, of the CIFAR10 uh, dataset stored at the MySQL DB. Then we will have uh, a classifier and detector uh, already trained with uh, original data uploaded at the MLflow registry. And finally, we will have the model monitoring AIF already deployed. So with this, we will have um, this classifier and the detector being served inside the, the model monitoring AIF. OK, so then here in the right part of this slide, uh, we can see uh, um, how the screen will be structured. So um, we will see uh, first of all at the um, at the bottom left um, the inference. So this will be a script, a Python script that we, will be executed locally. So this will gather um, the images stored at the MySQLDB and then send them to the um, uh, model and the detector in order to make this inference. Uh, then in the bottom right we will see the inference system log that will be useful to see if, if the detector has triggered a case of drift or not. And finally, um, at the top, uh, on the top, we will see the uh, the accuracy graph to see what's what's the evolution of the of the model during the whole the whole video. Okay, so um, finally, here we can see the the video structure. Uh, the video will be um, separated in four different stages. The first one, um, we will make um, uh, well. We will send uh, 1,000 inferences uh, using original images. Um, in the second part, we will uh, make um, 100 inferences using corrupted images. So in that case, the detector will be called and the training AIFs will, will be triggered because the detector will detect this uh, case of drift. And finally, we will finish the inference with corrupted data with the rest of 900 inferences uh, to see again how the, the accuracy evolves. Uh, finally, just to keep in mind here that every inference is set with uh, a batch size of 10 images. So each inference um, made here, uh, we will send um, 10, 10 images to the to the model and the detector. OK, so here we have the, the video um, in which, again, to make a bit of recap, uh, in the bottom left, left we will see the, <coughs> the log of the, of the inference made locally. Uh, in the bottom right, we will see the log of the inference system. And finally, uh, on the top, we will see the, the accuracy of the um, using a, a graph and a graph. So each time we make an inference here, um, a new point is added to the to the graph with the with the value of the of the accuracy. OK, <clears throat> so then we will jump uh, directly to the inference number 100. Um, that is the first time that the detector is called and we will see has, how it has not outputted drift. 
because the classifier and the detector has been uh, pre-trained with original data. That is the data we, we are using to, to make inference. So here we can see the drift is zero, so no drift is, is triggered. And remember that for the detector to detect uh, drift, the p-value must be 0, 0.0. Okay. So after this, uh, we jump to the end of the process of the inference uh, done with original data. So again, here um, the detector will not uh, trigger drift, as we can see here in the in the log. But uh, right now we want to focus here in the in the graph of the of the accuracy, and we can see how the the accuracy has stabilized after 1,000 inferences in 0 0.85, what is uh, uh, expected also. So uh, this is the the end of the process of the of the inference done with uh, original data. OK, so so right now we jump um, to the inference done with uh, corrupted data. Um, um, we are going to jump uh, in the infer to the inference number uh, 100 and we will see how the detector right now um, uh, will detect a case of drift. OK, so first of all, we want to focus again on the graph. We can see here a degradation of the of the accuracy. Um, so the performance has um, has gone down a bit of the of the model after 100 inferences with corrupted data. And here the detector is called and we can see here in the inference system log. How the, the, um, the drift right, right now is detected, the p-value is 0.0. .0. And we can also see the logs of the MTO that um, has been called um, has been has been deployed basically the the functions for retraining the detector and the classifier. So um, after this call, um, we um, cut let's say the log of the inference system, and we are going to to see how these functions have been deployed in the in the MEC system. So the the training functions for the classifier and the and the detector. OK, so at that point we will wait for these functions to finish, but uh, uh, as them are uh, time consuming, we're going to assume that the, a new version for the model and the detector uh, trained with corrupted data have been uploaded to the registry and also uh, being served in the in the model monitoring AIF. OK, so we're going to jump at the end of the process of the inference process with uh, corrupted data. So we can see here again at that point, um, which is when a new uh, version of the model and the detector train with corrupted data has been uh, uploaded. Um, then after 1000 inferences with uh, with corrupted data, the accuracy stabilizes again. OK, so right now we finish with uh, uh, inference with corrupted data and we see as the detector has not uh, detected drift again because has been trained with uh, with corrupted data also. OK, so this is the end of the of the video and this is the end of the of the presentation also. So thank you. Thank you so much for your attention.